What is going on guys? Fatal Reaper Day bringing you guys another video on the HP Pavilion gaming laptop. You may or may not have seen a video I did in Death and Water uh, 2. I wanted to do a quick review on that. I did that. I wanted to also do a test on the HP Pavilion because um, um, as far as the game goes, I wanted to see how well it could run on the HP Pavilion. I do recommend turning some of the graphics down, so I noticed that right away that the frame uh, FPS I was getting was pretty low, and that's due to shadows and stuff like that, so mainly you want to turn down. I did turn VSync off um, to see how many frames we would get total. Um, it does have an FPS counter too on its uh, in its settings already. Obviously, I have one in the left corner already for you guys using uh, um, MSI Afterburner, but I would highly recommend that you turn the shadows down or off and I turned a few things like here um, just off like got this god race thing off and left some things on and that got me to the uh, normal around the 50 to 60 FPS range where it played um, had no issues playing smoothly uh, death and water 2 again is a pretty fun game it's an underwater survival game it's kinda like a the raft kinda game minecraft kinda thing kinda one of the, like those ga type of games indie game but it's it's, it's very fun very, I would say, <laughs> pretty scary. I have a, I don't really like deep water, so this kind of game kind of gives me, uh, gives me the creeps a little bit. But other than that, it did play completely fine on the HP Pavilion. So this is another test on another game that uh, the HP Pavilion gaming laptop still to this day, after uh, it's almost been two and a half years since I've had the laptop, still has no issues all the way in 2023. No issues playing any of these games like this. So that being said, guys, be sure to like and subscribe as always. I will be doing probably Hogwarts Legacies also on the HP Pavilion uh, and Resident Evil 4 Remake. Of course, as I've said in many videos, when it does come out, we will be getting that and doing a video on that. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Well done. Your uh, oxygen gauge is showing you are running a bit low. I have just put a marker on your HUD to show you where you can find refills. Probably best that you head that way now. You definitely don't want to run out. showing that it is full. With the strong currents in this region, treasures are often revealed during dives. Our scanners can't pick out the exact location, but I have marked the area on your compass for you to investigate. Go and see if you can find some.
Excellent. Looks like you found it. We use the treasure we find to buy an upgrade equipment between dives. If the rumors are true, we're probably going to need some hard hitting gear, so try and find as much treasure as you can. The training is complete. It seems like you know exactly what you are doing and are up to speed.